what do you need to do differently to stay on the court? Good question. Um, in the past three games, um, I don't know what it is. Um, I thought this was playoff basketball. A couple of them have just been touch fouls. And um, I don't know. Defense can be physical. They can be aggressive on me. Other side of it, I pick up quick, cheap ones, and, and you know, it, it's, it's frustrating. Uh, but I, I, I got to be better. I got to be better because uh, I feel good rhythm-wise to start the game off. And then pick up those, get sent to the bench, and then it just felt like the whole game I couldn't find how to be aggressive and create contact and balance all of that out while – trying to stay within the offense and, you know, move the ball and play off the ball, play, be aggressive downhill. Like, it was just a lot I was thinking about. Took me out of my game. I got to be better. Um, it, it's, it was frustrating, though. It's part of that also because Kawhi is playing limited minutes. He's playing with a knee that's not helping him out with being in play. Is that part of also the conversation that you had, I guess, with yourself? Uh, yeah, I mean, put pressure on James. James had to play 44 minutes. Um, you know, it, it just puts us out of sync. Now, T. Lou's in his rotations earlier than expected. Guys aren't playing at the times they're used to playing. Um, it, it, it just throws the whole team off. And, uh, yeah, so, I, I mean, I'll take, I take, you know, blame on that. Um, I don't know what, you know, some of those is, just some of them were flops, I, I, I thought. Um, and, you know, we talk about this word marginal when it comes to fouling. I thought a lot of it was marginal. It wasn't just you had a frustrating night, but overall the whole team seemed frustrated. Where did, where did, why did things unravel for you guys emotionally? Uh, I don't know. I don't know. I think, uh, again, we played good defensively. Um, I thought we got out of character with a couple turnovers. Um, but, you know, for us, it's just offense. We got to figure out how to generate better looks and quicker looks offensively. Uh, Kawhi told us that his knee didn't respond the way he had hoped to after game one, and it has to be managed. He's hopeful he'll play the next game, but uh, what's your concern level with uh, Kawhi? Um, I mean, we're all, you know, we all want the best for him. You know, like I've said, to start this out, he's – one of the most competitive people. Um, and so, you know, that alone, he's battling of not being able to be 100% be uh, here 100% for us. Um, but, you know, we, we just, you know, we, we got to cover and pick up the slack and, and appreciate what he's given us. Um, you know, we know he's not 100, but, but he's still trying to suit up and, and give us whatever he can. Um, but, you know, definitely feel for him. You know, I know he's been working hard. And, uh, you know, again, to get to this point, you know, where we want to make a push. Um, and, uh, you know, he can't, you know, can't be 100% right now. See, how, see, you have, you had a little bit of a layoff for the playoffs, too. And obviously, Kawhi, and the two of you were sort of like looking for your rhythm at the same time in, in the midst of this, like, crazy, you know, the playoff series. Mm -hmm. Like, how hard is that to do? Sort of navigate? Yeah, I mean, I thought it'd be easier uh, until you're actually in it, and then uh, you kind of figure out, um, you know, a little time off does affect time and flow and rhythm. I thought I was in a great rhythm to end the season. Um, but, uh, you know, that, that's not an excuse. You know, it's not an excuse. Um, again, I thought starting the night, I, f I found the rhythm. I thought I was in good rhythm. I felt... You know, I was going to be uh, in attack mode all night. Uh, but then you get sidelined and you know, kind of scramble from that point on. Um, so, yeah, again, I thought tonight I was going to have, you know, be able to play my game and, and be in attack mode and, and uh, you know, take advantage of, uh, you know, one-on-one -on -one opportunities. As a leader of the team, do you feel the guys are feeling uh, pressure to make up for Kawhi's um, limited action? Or is that inspirational for them to – Try to fill his role. No, I mean we like we've been saying. I mean we got enough, you know, uh, talent in this locker room uh, with Kawhi um, being down to win games still, um, and so it's just everybody playing their part. You know, 
Um, James is still one of the best in the world. Um, Russ is still one of the best in the world. Um, myself, I mean, we still have enough. And we've been, um, you know, playing at the highest level in our careers before. It's not nothing new to us now. So um, I think we just got to play our game um, and, and, and just focus on that. What do you feel like um, is the, we discussed before about how they're shrinking the floor, packing the paint. Um, what do you feel like you guys are going to need to do to break through on just the interior scoring part of this series? Uh, I think that's more so for us to discuss um, in the locker room. I think that's more for us to discuss. Do you feel like from what we've seen, Dallas is you know, their, their ability to guard you guys and, and, and everything. Like, how do you assess what they're doing that's, that's been successful? Yeah, I mean, what they're doing is, is just crowding, uh, trying to get us uh, to play in crowds, um, daring us to move the ball, um, and, uh, you know, honestly just relying, you know, are we going to pass it? Are we going to give it up? Are we going to get off of it? Um, and, uh, you know, I think overall it's forced us to shoot uh, contested threes or, or, or you know, um, uh, either that or, or, or drive it in the paint where they're, where they're packing. I think that's the options that they're giving us. Um, but, you know, I think we can, we can figure it out. Uh, we know what they're doing. Um, we just have to uh, kind of just counter it at this point. Thanks, Paul. Thank you.